that's right. You're talking to the first ever biggest fan, and the longest serving fan of Zack Snyder's. DC EU, that is. And what I mean by that is, well, since, uh, since he created Man of Steel, well, before that, I never really heard of him. Never really paid much attention to him. I've always been a DC fan, and, um, and I was always longing for a really good Superman movie. And the trailer really got me excited, and I thought, finally, we're going to have... Uh, a new take on Superman. So, being a DC fan all these years, and all the comics and stuff, I saw Man of Steel and was, first of all, took back, astonished, and, well, that was something different. That was, that is what I needed. But straight after Man of Steel, uh, so when, my, sorry, when Man of Steel came out, I did... Before Man of Steel came out, I did a wee bit of research and I looked up Zack Snyder to, to find out is he the man for the job? And of course I came across Watchmen, Sucker Punch and I'd already seen 300 and Gardens of the Ghoul with the, the owls and stuff like that. So I thought, yeah, he knows his comic stuff, right? 300, wow, that's like from the book. So, um, so when I watched it, I just went, it does it. Yeah, I'm, I want to see what he does next. I want to see where he's going to take the Man of Steel. So after, after that, I mean, before Man of Steel came out, I was doing all these DC groups and stuff like that. And, uh, and uh, But as soon as Man of Steel came out, that urged me to make a page called Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope on Facebook. So I would say about... The second day of its release, I was, was on Facebook and the page started to go up and up. And the reason why I started this page, I said before in my other videos, was, uh, was I was getting tired of the put-downs coming from DC fans. I went, this is Superman, this is, this is what you see in the comics, this is, this is what you wanted. So, lo and behold, I spent years... Every day, and just about nearly hour of that day, thinking about Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, defending it, you know, and getting all the, the bad releases, the bad press, turning it around, putting positive, looking for other people to share those ideas. And after about a year, I collected so much information and so much positive posters about it, it was exhausting. Uh, it really was. It's constantly trying to come up with a positive, and and you, and you come across haters so much, uh, and it's coming from DC fans, and so you find yourself arguing with fellow DC fans about the film. And so every day since Man of Steel, it was Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder, and. I started talking to people that worked for Zack Snyder and uh, you know and I just told him I'll tell him he's got support on Facebook he's you know there's a page here and it's dedicated to to his stuff and whatnot and tell him he's not alone and then of course um, you know it just became an obsession uh, so then of course BVS came and again, the, it amplified, you know, and my page suddenly went from Man of Steel to, to DC Fan Gives Hope to Batman vs Superman Fan Gives Hope to DC Vigilante to, um, to all sorts of names. The page grew and grew and there was a fan base out there and, and stuff and we were all looking forward to his ideas of you know what's coming next as there another addition to BVS and then it eventually did come and you know it was, it was just it and then round about uh, after Man of Steel and between BVS I started the YouTube just just to voice my opinions but I was looking 
for help. I was looking for help. And so after the... Um, and I got worried. Don't get me wrong. Zack Snyder made me worried because of some of the stuff he was doing. It was... It was um, you know, especially when it was lead up to be um, to the Justice League. Um, I was, I was, I was getting worried. But this is the thing for being a fan: you can be a fan of somebody and support them. Like, for instance, you can, if you know, if you know, if you like somebody or you like a football team, you will support that team. But there are sometimes when that team plays badly that you've, you've got to put up your hands and say, okay listen, you know I will carry on supporting you but that was a mistake Okay, that, that was because we, we can't be critical we can't be altogether biased and say everything is brilliant every, every move that gets done is fantastic, is an ingenious otherwise you're, you're just pandering, you, you've got to be your own person and, and you know it's like having a friend when, you've, when you see a friend doing something rotten you, you, to be a good friend, you've got to say it. But at the same time, you would lay down your, you know, you would lay down your hands for them and stuff like that, and you'll go to the ends of the world for the person um, if it ever came down to it. So that's and that's where I came up with the the line, the supporter. It's 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 you know you're either they're a fan where you just like the person or you're a supporter. For me, I was always being the supporter of the Zack Snyder. It's it's more for me more passionate, more stronger than just a fan. Fan to me just means you like stuff. Support means you're right behind them. So, uh, and then as I was starting to lose phase, as it started to to weigh on me and, and I was constantly looking for other groups and other people to have similar ideas, uh, I could see the, when I started to do, you know, there were people that joined my page and, and started to create groups and pages for themselves, inspired by this stuff. And then I went to, you know, I started looking at YouTube videos to try to find videos uh, to collect for my page that were positive and, and great for, for my Facebook page. And, uh, oh, I, I collected millions, collected thousands. Uh, and interviews and stuff like that. I had a good staff behind us, and we got we we, we downloaded some of the YouTubes onto Facebook and stuff. Um, and then I could see I can start seeing the upcoming stars, Chris Pong Flex, who uh, who was just starting, who just had a small channel, and he was he was just starting. There. I could see him, and he had the same passion. And I started using his videos for the page. Then I start. Then I then film junkie wasn't too bad. I actually made a mid at one one time, and um, he was a very passionate guy as well. I could see him rising, um, the fame. And then you know you could see all these people on YouTube, and they had the great gift of the gab. And now they are at the stands where they're actually talking to Zack Snyder. And I, I, I take it as a great privilege to be, you know, one of the first people out there. Uh, I would say the first person to, out there defending him since Man of Steel. A lot of people came out, I believe, pro after uh, Batman vs Superman. And people came out to defend that. I was defending the film before it came out. You know, I was putting the positive spin on it even before then, since, since Man of Steel. Uh, then, of course, when Justice League came out, you know, I, I, I felt worried for, for Zach. I says, please don't, you know, um, we've got to love this film. Maybe he did do it, and then he started talking about the Snyder Cut, and he says, well, please don't don't let this be a lie, Zach. Please, I could never forgive you if you, if, if you were pulling off strings here. Because that's what you do. You you know, you, you care for something so much, you, you've been backing the person up for so many years, so... You, you you don't want it, you know. You you don't want them to screw things up. And uh, there were times I was worried, and uh, and I went, oh my god, he's he's keep on going, but the Snyder Cut will never will never come out. And and um, and then what what's the film industry and people going to think of him then if he keeps harping on 
but we'll just keep on going on and I'm saying, Zach, don't let us down, don't be or uh, uh, people will, will go against you and all that sort of stuff. But he pulled, he pulled through. And not only that, he's, he's now out there talking to those YouTubers, talking to those people that um, started to support him after um, BBS. So it, it's, it, it's been a great privilege to do that. And, and the reason, another reason why I, I made this video was I was shocked uh, and I was worried. And I've, I've deleted the video since then. And when I made a, a reaction to the new trailer, because the other trailer was because of copyright with the Hallelujah song. And I've, uh, I got the kids downstairs to, to watch the trailer and get excited for it. You know, it was everywhere on YouTube. People were reacting again to the trailer. You know, because that's, that's the easiest way, basically, that you get views the minute you put in the word reaction. But again, I would be, for me, I would be falsifying my reaction if I, no matter what Zack Snyder does and puts on the screen, that I will be, um, you know, applauding, you know. So I, I would be false to me and it would be false to the people that watch me, you know, it would be biased. So, of course, when... When I watched it and it was black and white and they had the tunes and there was very little added to it, very little difference to it. And uh, and I looked at the kids, I was so disappointed. And I think I felt scared for Zach because I'm thinking this is the wrong move. This is the wrong move for you, Zach, because if you want to get that film out there and get people interested, you know, you, you have to bring your your colour, your cinematography that you're, you're famous for, out there for people to see. You know, people, yeah, may, big close fans will probably understand the black and white. But for me, as I say, uh, being a DC fan, I, I used to say in the, in the past quite a lot, that I would rather hate something, but for the world to love it when it comes to DC. You know, uh, as long as DC prospers and does good, I am, I am just like any other DC. Fan, I will be totally happy for that. We'll get our, you know, DC fans should be applauding that we're back in the mainstream and and stuff. So, but for me, I would, I, I, I really rooting for Zack to do well. I'm, I'm rooting for this Zack Snyder's Justice League to do well. So when I see something that gives me doubt that the campaign or the marketing for this is, is a wee bit down. It's, it's, now, we can, as assured, the, the comic industry, people that read comics and is, is into this, you know, comic cons and stuff like that. Of course, we will go and we all know about it. But I've said many times before, there's people out there that don't know, that didn't even know it was getting made, that have said to me for the last few years, or you're, they're just being selfish to tell the film industry and what to do. They don't know the whole story like you and I do about what happened the last few days. So, yeah, my, my reaction was genuine. And the only reason why I put it, uh, I took it off now is because I got up and I saw another trailer. And it was the same trailer I watched in black and white and it was in colour. And I went, yes, yes, make that be the history. Make that be it, right? Don't give us any more. And then somebody in my work came over to me and said, look what came up in my uh, IMB sort of website, you know, MB or IMB website. And there it was, the Zack Snyder movie. So this was somebody outside the fandom that got a notification. And, I mean, I don't know why they never got a, a notification from the website um, when it was originally released. Maybe it had something to do with copyright. So that is what inspired me to talk about. Because, you know, because when I made that, I had all these comments and somebody left, somebody unsubscribed and everything else. 
But that's the thing. That's about being passionate, being a supporter of somebody, but also being truthful when you feel like they've done something wrong. And we can always, we can always agree that every move that somebody makes is the right one. Zach can make a hundred odd mistakes, but I'll still support him because I know at the end, you know, he has got the fans in his heart. He's got DC in his heart and he's got the people that work around him, you know, on his side. He's, he's a great person. And uh, it's been a privilege to be his biggest long-serving fan to date. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, if you believe you're the longest-serving fan, please drop a comment below and let us know what got you into it. Thanks for watching.